grasp your mandrake firmly, you pull it sharply up out of the box. She's known as much for speaking her mind and dropping the odd expletive on live television as she is for her hugely popular roles on stage and screen. And although Miriam Margulies has been shielding from COVID-19 at her southwest London home, she's kept busy, filming a socially distanced online short play. If we're supposed to be on our own, why is that woman still coming round here? Stacy, she's your carer. Yeah. Watching Rosie is a tender portrayal of experiencing nice. dementia in lockdown. I was asked to do it, and although I was a bit sceptical as to that it could be done at all, I, I wanted to work, and because I'm old, I think about Alzheimer's and dementia, and this is to help the dementia society. The original theatre company's adaptation of Louise Colthard's debut stage play will be streamed from the 6th of August, but another of her projects has already hit our screens. Miriam Margulies, Almost Australian. I'm trying to find out what the Australian dream is. Did you have a, a dream or...? This new series sees Miriam embracing the latest chapter of her career as a documentary presenter and exploring modern Australian identity. Are you concerned about your industry, considering what we're seeing in this climate with lockdown, with theatres not still being opened? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't understand how people can get in a plane and it's OK and they're not allowed to go to the theatre. It, it's tragic because we need our theatre. It, it's an essential part of the cultural life of a nation. Do you like the idea of being a national treasure? The Queen is a national treasure. She, she, she doesn't particularly like me, I don't think, but then why should she? Vera Lynn was a national treasure. She really was. But I don't think I've reached that eminence at all. I'm very pleased that you should think so, but I think it's a bit over the top. Brenda Imanis, BBC London.